In this column are the Hmong pronouns, and over here are the English pronouns. So the first Hmong pronoun is Gu. Gu means I, or my, me, and mine. Next one, Ko. Ko in Hmong, one person, you, your, or yours. Ne, ne, two persons, you two, that is, you, your, or yours. Ne, ne, more than two persons, you. Go, go, exactly two persons, they. Lo, lo, more than two persons, they. U, u, two persons, we two, that is, we. We, be, be, more than two persons. We, nu, nu, he, or she, or it, meaning that all the three words have the same pronunciation and same spelling, and it means he, she, or it. One more time, gu, ga, ne, ne. Go, lo, u, be, nu. Even though Hmong has only one pronoun for each form a person, the order of placement is similar to English in many ways. For example, Hmong sentence line here, English over here. Mua zhao gu, mua zhao gu. Give to me. Sa zhao ge. Sa zhao ge. Send to you. Ge ba gu. Ge ba gu. You help me. Gu lu jie. Gu lu jie. My house. Gu nia. Gu nia. My mother. Gu zhong xia. Gu zhong xia. I am happy. Let us learn some basic Hmong verbs. So let's begin. Under here is Hmong word. Under here is the English. Example. In English, equivalent. So, ya, ya, highest pitch, to pull. Gu ya zhu de, I pull a dog. Ye, ye, to yell. Ko ye gu. You yell me. You yell at me. That is, yo, yo, to take. Gu yo go mu. I take you go. I will take you to go. That is, hi, hi. Say, gu hi lu mong. I speak language mong. I speak mong. That is, how, how to drink. Go how day? You drink water. Who who to call? Go who go? You call me. Go go to touch. Go go go. I touch you. Lo lo to come. Go lo be mu no mo. You come. We go eat food. You come. We go to eat food. That is, more, more to have. Go more near. You have money. No, no to eat. Go more, no more. I go eat food. I go to eat. That is, no, no to ask. Go no go. I ask you. Pa, pa to help. Go ba gu wo. You help me do. Bao bao to know. Gu bao ge zhong. I know you well. Bia bia to describe. Go bia zhao gu. You describe to me. Bi bi to begin. Go bi ge lu mong. You begin learn language mong. You begin to learn Hmong. That is, people. The name.
Dining people. Dining. Dining. Dining people. Dining. Dining man. Dining. Dining. Dining man. Bar near. Bar near. Woman. Bar near. Bar near. Bar near. Woman. Yo lao. Yo lao. Old age men. Yo lao. Yo lao. Yo lao. Old age men. Ba lao. Ba lao. Old age woman. Ba lao. Ba lao. Ba lao. Old age woman. Yin da ning. Yin da ning. Middle age people. Yin da Ning E da ning E da ning middle age people Tu Lua Tu Lua Teenage boy Tu Lua Tu Lua Tu Lua Teenage boy Tai Lua Tai Lua Teenage Girl Tai Lua Tai Lua Tai Lua Teenage Girl Do Do Boy Do 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 Boy Tai Tai girl Tai 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 girl Menua Menua Child Toddler Menua 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 Child Toddler me a me a baby me a me a me a baby bonnie sing menu bonnie sing menu pregnant woman bonnie sing menu Bonnie sing me nyo. Bonnie sing me nyo. Pregnant woman. Clothing. Kong jiao. Kong jiao. Clothing. Kong jiao. Kong jiao. Kong jiao. Clothing. Chong ban de. Chong ban de. Long sleeve shirt or dress shirt. Chong ban de. Chong ban de. Chong ban de. Long sleeve shirt or dress shirt. Chong ba lu. Chom ba lu, short sleeve shirt or t-shirt. Chom ba lu, chom ba lu, chom ba lu, short sleeve shirt, t-shirt. Chom ti na or chom la, chom ti na, chom la, 
jacket or sweater. Chaw di na. Chaw la. Chaw di na. Chaw la. Chaw di na. Chaw la. Jacket, sweater. Don't repeat it two times as me. Just either say chaw di na or say chaw la. Both of them are jacket or sweaters. Cha kwa. Cha kwa. Vest. Cha kwa. Cha kwa. Cha kwa. Vest. Cha di na. Cha di na. Raincoat. Cha di na. Cha di na. Cha di na. Raincoat. Din de. Din de. Long pants or dress pants. Din de. Din de. Din de. Long pants, dress pants. Jilu. Jilu. Shorts. Jilu. Jilu. Shorts. Jikam boy. Jikam boy. Jin. Jikam boy. Ji Kamboy Ji Kamboy Jeans Ji Yu Ji Yu Sweatpants Ji Yu Ji Yu Ji Yu Sweatpants Tian Day Tian Day Long Skirt Tia de Tia de Tia de Long skirt Tia lu Tia lu Skirt Tia lu Tia lu Tia lu Skirt Cho kia mi Cho kia mi bra Cho kia mi Cho kia mi Cho kia mi bra Di hau ka Di hau ka Underwear, boxer, breeze Di hau ka di hau ka di hau ka underwear boxer breeze ge sa gong ge sa gong su ge sa gong ge sa gong ge sa gong su Jai Tian Day Jai Tian Day Dress or Long Dress Jai Tian Day Jai Tian Day Jai Tian Day Dress or Long Dress Kong Jau Bu Kong Jau Bu Pajamas Sleeping Clothes Kong Jau bu Kau jau bu Kau jau bu Pajamas, sleeping clothes Kau jau da de Kau jau da de Swimsuit or swimming clothes Kau jau da de Kau jau da de 
Kong giờ đã đi swim suit or swim close. Kong giờ đào or dân ba. Kong giờ đào ba or Kong giờ dân ba. Sportswear. Kong giờ đào ba or Kong giờ dân ba. Kong giờ đào ba. Kong giờ dân ba. Swim. Uh, sportswear, sorry. Fruit. Chí ma chí đông. Chí ma chí đông. Fruit. Chí ma chí đông. Chí ma chí đông. Chí ma chí đông. Fruit. Đi lia. Đi lia. Watermelon. Đi lia. Đi lia. Đi lia. Watermelon. Chí chá. Chí chá. Banana. Chí chá. Chí chá. Chí chá. Banana. Chí ma. Môn. Chí ma. Môn. Mango. Chí ma. Môn. Chí ma. Môn. Chí ma. Môn. Mango. Chí ca. Zi. Chí ca. Zi. Orange. Chí ca. Zi. Chí ca. Ka zi, zi gan zi, orange. Zi do, zi do, peach. Zi do, zi do, zi do, peach. Tau dong, tau dong, papaya. Tau dong, tau dong. Tao ndong, papaya. Chí chá tó. Chí chá tó, go a. Chí chá tó. Chí chá tó. Chí chá tó, go a. Chí bóng lú. Chí bóng lú, pineapple. Chí Bông lù. Chí bông lù. Chí bông lù. Pineapple. Ma pao. Ma pao. Coconut. Ma pao. Ma pao. Ma pao. Coconut. Ma nao. Ma nao. Lemon. Ma nao. Now, ma, now, ma now, lemon. Zi ling chi, zi ling chi, li chi, zi ling chi, zi ling chi, zi ling chi, li chi. Zi gao, zi gao. Grapefruit. Zi gao. Zi gao. Zi gao. Grapefruit. Zi ai bo. Zi ai bo. Apple. Zi ai bo. Zi ai bo. Zi ai bo. Apple. Zi strawberry, zi strawberry, strawberry, zi strawberry, zi strawberry, strawberry. Zi cherry, zi cherry, cherry, zi cherry, zi cherry, cherry. 
Jean Grape. Jean Grape. Grape. Jean Grape. Jean Grape. Grape. Jean Pear. Jean Pear. Pear. Jean Pear. Jean Pear. Pear. A note. In this lesson, there are fruits that has Thai name,、uh, and Hmong name, and、uh, American name, or English name, because there are no words for those、uh, that particular fruit. So the Hmong just use either the Thai name for it or the American name for it. These are human actions. Shangju. Shangju stand. Shangju. Shangju. Shangju stand. Chao jiao. Chao jiao kneel. Chao jiao. Chao jiao. Chao jiao kneel. Zhao, zhao, sit, zhao, 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 sit. Ga, ga, crawl, ga, 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 crawl. Mu ge. Mu ge walk. Mu ge. Mu ge. Mu ge walk. Nda. Nda fall down. Nda. Nda. Nda fall down. Ntia. Tear, jump, tear, 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 jump. Ja, ja, kick, ja, 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 kick. Dao, dao, hit. Dao, 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 hit. Bu hao a, bu hao a, lay down. Bu hao a, bu hao a, bu hao a, to lay down, to lie down. Shen jie. Shen ge dance. Shen ge. Shen ge. Shen ge dance. Xia de xia de. Xia de xia de stretch. Xia de xia de. Xia de xia de. Xia de xia de stretch. A, A, to carry on one's back or to carry something on one's back. A, 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 carry on the back. Hobbies. Gei nia or. Gei nia or hobbies. Gei nia or. Gay, nia, or gay nia, or hobbies. Mlong gao, mlong gao, listen to music. Mlong gao, mlong gao, mlong gao, listen to music. Shy TV, shy TV, watch television. Shy TV. 
shy t v shy t v watch television shy ying ya kia shy ying ya kia watch movies shy ying ya kia shy ying ya kia shy ying ya kia watch movies hung gao hung gao singing hung gao hung gao hung gao singing duan gang duan gang play games duan gang Door game, door game, play games. Ngang dao bong ba, or ngang ba dao ba bong ba play sports. Ngang ba dao ba bong ba play sports. Ngang ba dao ba bong ba. Ngang ba down ba bong ba play sports wo pai wo pai play cards wo pai wo pai wo pai play cards go do go do drawing go do Go do, go do, drawing. Ta do, ta do, painting. Ta do, ta do, ta do, painting. Do mla, do mla, sculpting. Do mla. Do mla, do mla, scoping. Sheng jie, sheng jie, dancing. Sheng jie, sheng jie, sheng jie, dancing. Nying dao, nying dao, reading. Nying dao. Nying Dao Nying Dao Reading Ga Internet Ga Internet Surfing the Internet or Surfing the Net Ga Internet Ga Internet Ga Internet Surfing the Internet Tai Doa Tai Doa Photograph Tai Doa Tai Doa Tai Doa Photograph Mu Kia Ku Mu Kia Ku Shopping Mu Kia Ku Mu Kia Ku Mukia ku shopping. Wate. Wate gardening. Wate. Wate. Wate gardening. Ji te cha. Ji te cha traveling. Ji te cha. Ji te cha Ji te cha Traveling Nu je Nu je Fishing Nu je Nu je Nu je Fishing Nje tong Nje tong 
hiking or mountain climbing. J Tong J Tong J Tong hiking mountain climbing. Bu Pe Tong Bu Pe Tong camping. Bu Pe Tong Bu Pe Tong Bu Pe Tong camping. Nyajong, this is Mike Hu from mungbaby.com. Today I will be going through the food flashcards in White Mung, so follow along. Noya, si cha, kahaina, si cha, hai jong zi tia, si cha, jong te, halu noya, si kan zu, kahaina, si. กันซื้อยิ่งจีอ่ะซีกันซื้อจงเกอนายาซีดัวกะทีเลยซีดัวอีจงจีนะซีดัวอนายาซีมากะหายอซีมาอีจงจีเตะซีมาจงเกอนาย
tao rong cơ lì nó nói do rau joa có hành động của nó rau joa hãy ý rằng gì thế rau joa rong cơ lì nó nói do rau chữ có hành động của tao rau chữ ý rằng gì thế rau chữ hãy luôn nói do đó lo có hành động đó lo ý rằng gì á đó lo ở đây các chữ lo li kinh sử nhớ rằng this is my cue from Mong Baby I am going to be going through our phrases flashcards in White Mong you want to follow along here we go nhớ rằng hành động của nhớ rằng hãy ý rằng gì á nhớ rằng luôn ký nhớ hello nói nhớ xin chị đó hành động của xin chị đó ý rằng gì á xin chị đó luôn ký nhớ goodbye nhớ rằng sẵn rõ nhớ rằng sẵn rõ ý rằng gì nhớ rằng sẵn rõ luôn ký nhớ good morning nói nhớ bưởi rong cạo bưởi rong cạo ý rằng gì bưởi rong cạo luôn ký nhớ good night có nhớ ly trà hai đứa có nhớ ly trà có nhớ ly trà luôn ký nhớ how are you có mua về chơi không có mua về chơi không có mua về chơi không luôn ký nhớ how old are you nói nhớ có lúm bê hú lì chà có lúm bê hú lì chà có lúm bê hú lì chà luôn ký nhớ What's your name? Ở tờ rong hèn, nên nói cho. Oa chào. Oa chào. Oa chào. Luôn ký nhớ. Thank you. Rong xia tông chi cọ. Rong xia tông chi cọ. Ý rằng gì? Rong xia tông chi cọ. Luôn ký nhớ. Nice to meet you. Để nói nhớ. Thật gì? Thật gì? Ý rằng gì á? Thật gì? Luôn ký nhớ. Sorry. Chị ô lý cha. Chị ô lý cha. Chị ô lý cha. Luôn ký nhớ. No problem. Bố ô lý cha chào cậu. Bố ô lý cha chào cậu. Ý rằng gì á? Bố ô lý cha chào cậu. Luôn ký nhớ. Are you okay? Gu chai bla. Gu chai bla. Ý rằng gì á? Gu chai bla. Luôn ký nhớ. I'm hungry. Gu ngay day. 
Gu Nghi De Gu Nghi De Luang Ki Ya I'm thirsty Ya Ya Yishon Zi Ya Ya Luang Ki Ya Yes Chi Ya Chi Ya Hai Yishon Zi Chi Ya Luang Ki Ya No Gu Chi Pao Gu Chi Pao Hai Yishon Zi Gu Chi Pao Luang Ki Ya I don't know. No, yeah. Chade, no, kotu. Chade, no, kotu. Chade, no, kotu. Luanki, yeah. Where's the bathroom? Gu, ngeng, ngeng. Gu, ngeng, ngeng. Gu ngeng ngeng Luang ki ya I'm tired Gu nya jong Hai doa Gu nya jong Yi jong zi ya Gu nya jong Luang ki ya I'm well Gu chi nya Gu chi nya Gu chi nya Luang ki ya I don't like it Gu nya Gu nya Yi zhong zi Gu nya Luang ki ya I like it Yi zhong ke Yi zhong ke Yi zhong zi Zhong ke Luang ki ya Good job Gu lu ka Yi zhong zi Gu lu ka Gu lu ka Luang ki ya I love you Tho Tho Yi zhong zi Tho Luang ki ya, please. Bê chê tính lợ. Bê chê tính lợ. Bê chê tính lợ. Luang ki ya, what time is it? Hi, this is my coo from mongbaby.com. I will be going through the white mong animal flashcard. So say these along with me, okay? This is Jia Zai. Can you say that with me? Jia Zai. This is Du Bla. Can you say that with me? Bla. This is Yi Du Zhang Cuo. Han Du Gu Xiao. Jong Zhuo. Now you Leah. Hi, the good shop. Leah. Now you eat Kai. Hi, Zhong Zi shop. Kai. Now you do Ya. Hi, Zhong Zi. Ya. Now you eat to out. Hi, you don't see ya? Out. Then now you eat to me. Hi, you don't see ya? Me. Then now you eat to ka. Hi, you go ya? Ka. Then now you eat to ning. Hi, you don't see ya? Ning. 
면허의 이등 흔츠 가 이전지요 흔츠 누나의 이등 흔제 하인도 흔제 나의 이등 이야이요 가 이전지셔 이야이요 누나의 또 어. 하이도샤. 어. 누나의 또 농. 하이션지. 농. 누나의 또 치. 하이도구가. 치. 누나의 또 뉴. 하이셔도 뉴. 누나의 이두 말리아 하이셔도 말리아 누나의 이두 뭐 하이셔지셔 뭐 누나의 이두 나 하이셔 나 누나의 이두 로아 가해보다 로아 Tu nói cho tu vào kỳ Cả hai sợ Vào kỳ Tu nói cho tu Nàng dọ Hãy ý cho đoạn Nàng dọ Tu nói cho tu đại Hãy nói cứu đoạn Đại Tu nói cho ý tu Mà lự Hãy ý cho đoạn Mà lự Tụi nói cho tụi bao ông bài Hãy đưa cứu sợ Bao ông bài Under here is the mong words And under here is the English definition So Da 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 Ka 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 Na Na Na, na, pa, 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 ta, 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 ja, 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 de, 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 le, le. Gay, gay. Nay, nay. May, may. May, may. Bay, bay. Bay, bay. Bay, bay. Day, day. Day, day. Yay, yay. And jay, jay. Under here is Hmong and under here is English. So the first one is Gu Jo Ko Heng. Gu Jo Ko Heng. I think of you a lot, or I miss you a lot. Ko Bua Jo Gu. Ko Bua Jo Gu. Do you think of me, or do you miss me? Ko Nyo Ko Tu. Ko Nyo Ko Tu. Where are you? Or it could mean, where do you live? U mu jie. U mu jie. We two go home. Or us two go home. Gu nye ko heng. Gu nye ko heng. I like you a lot. Ko bua lu gu. Ko bua lu gu. Do you love me? Ko bua mu. Ko bua mu. Are you going? Gu ji bao. Gu ji bao. I don't know. Te jau. Te jau. Maybe or perhaps. Tao du. Tao du. When? Leng du. Leng du. Who? Again. Gu nyo ko heng. Ko buon yo gu, ko nyo ko tu, u mu jie, 
กูเหงียก็แหงก็ปวดลูกกูก็ปวดมูกูจีเป้าเตี้ยเหาเท่าตื้อเล่งตื้อกูสาเหาเด็กกูสาเหาเด็ก I would like to drink water ก็ยอเล่งตื้อก็ยอเล่งตื้อ Who are you ลอลูนอแหงลีจ่าลอลูนอแหงลีจ่า How do you read this word? เทียชาวลีจ่าเทียชาวลีจ่า And how to write? ก็ชาวเจ้ากูก็ชาวเจ้ากู You write for me. ก็ปัวเป้าลูมงก็ปัวเป้าลูมง Do you know Mong? กูเป้าเมเมซูกูเป้าเมเมซู I know very little only. Hi Lu A G Su. Hi Lu A G Su. Speak English only. I found out. I found out. Thank you much. I ya be chai. I ya be chai. How much is each item? Ko mua be chai. Ko mua be chai. You sell for how much? A dua su a, a dua su a, two dollars only. Nyo jong a, nyo jong a means hello or hi. Tua la, tua la means hello, hi or come to. Tua tia, tua tia. Means come to. So, for example, you could say "ko tua tia." "Ko tua tia" means you come to. "Ko ma li lo ka o." "Ko ma li lo ka o" means you come later, okay? Or you leave later, okay? "Shi ji dua." She G dua. Notice the G here is a simplified version of this G right here. So, she G dua is the same as she G dua, and it means see you later or see each other again. Mu zhong, mu zhong means goodbye. Gu pia ko, gu pia ko. Means I teach or tell you. Be xiao hai, be xiao hai. We practice to say. Ko be hu li jia, ko be hu li jia. What is your name? Wa chao dao, wa chao dao. Thank you much. Ge lu meng, ge lu meng. Learn Hmong. Ko bua chi. Ko bua chi. Are you upset? Well, let's review some of the words and tones here to help you understand. Gu is exactly the tonal word gu with the V a rising pitch. That is, kia kia has no tone marker, so it has the a uh, tonal word zhong zhong ray ray pitch. That is. Ga, ga with the J tone marker sounds exactly like the tonal word ga. B, B has a B tone marker. It's high like the tonal word xia xia. B tone that is xiao xiao low because of the M tone marker. The tonal word nia nia xiao high high. S tone marker. Use the mu tone no word mu like do do that is. Ga. We cover that here. J tone. Be. Zhong. No tone marker. Hu. No tone marker. So you use the tone no word zhong. Li. No tone marker. So it's the same as zhong. Again. 
behuli si no tomaku ja ja s tomaku that would be mu mu the s tomaku that is wa no tomaku use the zhong pitch jiao jiao falling tone the tonal word neng neng the g tone that is dao dao no tomaku so back to the zhong zhong pitch tone go go lowest near tone lu lu use a mu tone mong mong the b tone xia xia that is go exactly the go tone bo bo use a mu tone qi qi lowest use a m or near tone Let's read one more time. Gu kia ko be xiao hai ko be hu li jia wo zhong dao ge lu meng ge bo qi. Nyo zhong nyo zhong means hello or hi in English. Gu zhong xia gu zhong xia means i am happy tao bo ga tao bo ga to see you that is ga ya yi du ga ya yi du you are a neng xia zhong heng neng xia zhong heng very kind person va dia u yuo va Dear Yu Yuan, hopefully we will. Jo Shi Bo Duo No. Jo Shi Bo Duo No. Meet each other again. Yo Go Mo Jai. Yo Go Mo Jai. If you have time, Go Ho Duo Shai Gu Duo. Go ho duo, shai gu duo. You come to see me again. Mu zhong go mo, mu zhong go mo. Goodbye to you. Shi ji duo, shi ji duo. See you again. Lu zhao, lu zhao. Next time. Now let's count from 1 to 10. Follow me as I repeat them two times each. 1 is E. E. 2 is A. A. 3 is B. B. Four is blau, blau. Five is g, g, dao. Sorry, six is dao, dao. Seven is xia, xia. Eight is yi, yi. Nine, two, two, and ten is gao, gao. Okay, quickly, let's count one to ten. E, a, b, blau, chi, zhao, xia, yi. Go. That's all I'm, I'm going to tell you uh, for now. Review it if you need to. Now let's count from 20 to 110. Remember, uh, 10 is Gao. Okay? 20. Neng Gao. Neng Gao. 30. 
Pe chao. Pe chao. Forty. Plow chao. Plow chao. Fifty. Chi chao. Chi chao. Sixty. Chao chao. Chao chao. Seventy. Xia chao. Xia chao. Eighty. Yi chao. Yi chao. Ninety. Chua chao. Chua chao. One hundred. Yi bo. Yi bo. One more time quickly. Neng gao. Be chao. Plow chao. Chi chao. Now notice uh, the chao in the chao. Okay. 30 to 50 is you use the number plus chao. 60 to 90 you use the number plus chao. Okay. Chao chao. Xia chao. Yi chao. Chuo chao. Yi bo. Now let's count numbers from uh, after 10, okay? We already count 1 through 10. Now let's count from 10 to 20. 11 is gao yi. Remember, 10 is gao. So to count 11, you just say gao yi, which is 10, 1. 12, gao a. Ah. Gao a. Ah. 13, gao be. Gao be fourteen. Gao blau. Gao blau. Fifteen. Gao chi. Gao chi. Sixteen. Gao zhao. Gao zhao. Seventeen. Gao xia. Gao xia. Eighteen. Gao yi. Gao yi. Nineteen, gao jua, gao jua, and twenty, we learned in the previous slide, neng gao, neng gao. One more time, gao yi, gao a, gao be, gao plao, gao chi, gao zhao, gao xia, gao yi, gao jua, neng gao. Now numbers from twenty to fifty-nine. Okay, now let's, uh, 21 is neng gao, yi, remember 20 is neng gao, so same thing, uh, say, to say 21, you say 21 is neng gao, yi, 22, neng gao, o, neng gao, o, 23, neng gao, be, Neng gao be. 28. Neng gao yi. Neng gao yi. 29. Neng gao jua. Neng gao jua. And we learned this. 30. We learned it before. It's be jiao. Be jiao. So to count the number 31 to 39, you just add be jiao. 1 is 31 is be jiao yi. 32, bit all for 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, chi, chao, Okay? Same thing with 40. 40 is plow Okay? So 41, 42, 43, 44 is plow yi, plow chao a, plow chao bi, plow chao plow. Okay? Right here, 45, plow chao chi. Okay, 46, plow chao chao. Okay, 47, 48, 49 is plow chao xia, plow chao yi, plow chao jua. Okay, 50 is, remember, is qi chao. So, 50, uh, same same process, just add 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, yi, a, be, plow chi, chao. Okay, to 50, and you have 51 to 56. So, 57 here is... Chi Chao Xia. 
chi chao xia fifty nine chi chao tua chi chao tua okay now let, let's learn numbers from sixty to one hundred okay sixty one sixty is chao chao okay sixty one is chao chao yi chao chao yi sixty six chao 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 seventy is remember is xia chao so seventy two is xia chao o xia chao o seventy eight xia chao yi xia chao yi eighty remember eighty is yi chao so eighty four is yi chao plao yi chao plao and ninety is chuo chao so ninety nine is Chua chao chua, chua chao chua, and one hundred is different from the, all of them is e bo, okay, e bo. And here are some points to know. Only twenty has a different pronunciation from the rest, which is neng gao. Remember, ten is gao, neng gao, neng gao is a little bit different from. The rest, the rest, you just say thirty. Just say bei chao, forty plao chao. Okay, so point number two is bei chao, plao chao, qi chao. Okay, thirty, forty, fifty. You uh, the pron the end pronunciation is chao, chao. Okay, for example, bei chao, plao chao, qi chao. For sixty through ninety, you don't say um what. Well, uh, chao chao chi xia chao. That doesn't make sense. You say chao chao xia chao yi chao chuo chao. Okay. So the end pronunciation is not chao. It's chao. Those are important points uh, to know. So now let's practice. Tatsi, gao lun bei hu li jia. Excuse me. What is your name? Number two. Kulumbe hu o tu kane. My name is two. And you? Number three. Kuhu o mai. I am mai. Number four. Kaluseng yarachi. What is your last name? Number five. Kuya sing va. I am a vang. Okay, these are the five phrases. We will master by the end of the lesson. These are the goal. Now let's begin. Start learning. Excuse me. What is your name? Follow along. Ta zi. Ta zi. Ta zi. Go. Go. Ta zi. Excuse me, what is your name? Tatsi, Kalumbe Hulika. Excuse me, Tatsi. What is your name? Kalumbe Hulika. My name is Tu, and you? Gu. Gu. Gu Lumbe. Gu Lumbe. Gulumbe hu oa. Gulumbe hu oa. Gulumbe hu oa tu. Gulumbe hu oa tu. Gulumbe hu oa tu. Kane. Gulumbe hu oa tu. Kane. My name is Tu. Gulumbe huo tu, 
and you Kone. I am Mai and Mong Ku 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 Hu Ku Hu Ku Hu Oa Ku Hu Oa Ku Hu Oa Mai Ku Hu Oa Mai Ku Hu Oa Mai I am my Gu Hu or my What is your last name? Ka Ka Lu Ka Lu Ka Lu Sing Ka Lu Sing Kalu sing ya. Kalu sing ya. Kalu sing ya. Dachi. Kalu sing ya. Dachi. What is your last name? Sorry about the extra period. Kalu sing ya. Dachi. Kalu sing ya. Dachi. I am a vein. And mong gu gu ya gu ya sing gu ya sing gu ya sing va gu ya sing va I am a vang gu ya sing va gu ya sing va I am a vang as a reminder, before we practice, if you're having problems pronouncing a particular word or a sentence, review them before you uh, practice or you could practice uh, right now and then re repractice as many times as you need. Now, how would you say, excuse me, what is your name in Hmong? Okay, excuse me. What is your name? In Hmong, it's Totsi. Kalumbe Hulita. Totsi. Kalumbe Hulita. How would you say? I am two. And you? If you said, Guhu Watu Kane. Guhu Watu Kane. You are correct. Okay, next one. I am my. Okay, the answer is Gu Hu Wa Mai. Gu Hu Wa Mai. I am my. Now, how would you say, What is your last name? What is your last name? And mom is Ka Lu Sing Ya Dachi. Ka Lu Sing Ya Dachi. How would you say? I am a vein. Okay, if you say Gu Ya Sing Va, you are correct. Gu Ya. Sing va, I am a vein. Here are new vocabularies. Number one, Totsi, excuse me. Number two, Lumbe, name, or the name. Three, who, call, to call. Four, ya, is. Five, sing, last name or surname. Six, Dachi, what. Seven, Two, two, eight, my, my, nine, va, vang, lu, zai, to, lu, zai, to, 
greeting phrases. This is the phrases to learn. These are the six phrases that we will master by the end of the lessons. If you find that you still need more practice, please review the lessons until you understand completely or you memorize all the phrases, then you can move on to the next lessons. Let's begin. Let's quickly review these six phrases and I then the next slide we will go word for word of every phrase. Number one, Nya Zhong. Hello. Hi. Nya Zhong. Number two, Gan Nya Li Jia Le. How are you? Gan Nya Li Jia Le. Number three, Gu Nya Zhong. Gan Ne. I'm fine. And you? Gu Nya Zhong. Gan Ne. Number four, Gu Nya Zhong Tia. I'm fine as well. Gu Nya Zhong Tia. Number five, Zhong Xie Dong Ji Ka. I am pleased to meet you. Zhong Xie Dong Ji Ka. I am pleased to meet you. Number six, Gu La Yi Ya. Wo Zhao. I am as well. Thank you. Gu La Yi Ya. Wo Zhao. Okay, let's begin. To say hello, hi, and mong is nyo 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 zhong nyo zhong nyo zhong nyo zhong nyo zhong hello hi how are you? And Mong? Ka nya. Ka nya. Ka nya li. Ka nya li. Ka nya li cha. Ka nya li cha. Con yo li cha la. Con yo li cha la. To say, hello, how are you? And Mong is, Con yo li cha la. I'm fine. And you? And Mong? Gu. Gu. Gu nyo. Gu nyo. Gu nyo zhong. Gu nyo zhong. Gu nyo zhong. Ka. Gu nyo zhong. Ka ne. Gu nyo zhong. Ka ne. I'm fine. And you? Gu nyo zhong. Ka ne. I'm fine as well. In Hmong, it will be Gu. Gu. Gu Nya. Gu Nya. Gu Nya Zhong. Gu Nya Zhong. Gu Nya Zhong Tia. Gu nyo zhong tia. Gu nyo zhong tia. I am fine as well. Gu nyo zhong tia. I am pleased to meet you. And mong. Zhong. Zhong. Zhong xie. Zhong xie. Zhong xie tao. Zhong xie tao. Zhong xie tao ji. Zhong xie tao ji. Zhong xie tao ji ka. Zhong xie 
Dao Ji Ga. I am pleased to meet you. Zhong Xia Dao Ji Ga. I am as well. Thank you. And Mong Gu 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 La Gu La Gu La I Ya Gu La I Ya Gu La I Ya Oa Gu La I Ya Oa Gu La I Ya Oa Chao Gu La I Ya Oa Chao I'm I am as well. Gula iya. Thank you. Watch out. Watch out. Gula iya. Watch out. Now let's practice. If you still have uh, a problem or still n did not memorize those, please review until you master it. You could go back or repeat this lesson as many times as you wish. Now, how would you say hello or hi in Hmong? Okay, hello and hi. Or hi in Hmong is nyo zhong. Nyo zhong. How would you say how are you? How are you? How are you? In Hmong is Konyo Li Jia Le. Konyo Li Jia Le. Konyo Li Jia Le. To answer, I'm fine. Okay. If you say Konyo Zhong, Konyo. You are correct. I'm fine. Gu nha zhong. And you? Ko ne. I'm fine. And you? Gu nha zhong. Ko ne. Okay, next one. How would you say I am fine as well? The answer is Gu nha zhong tia. Gu nha zhong tia. I'm fine as well. Gu nha zhong tia. How would you say? Okay, how would you uh, This is zhong xia dang ji ga. What's that translated in English? Zhong xia dang ji ga. How would you translate that into English? Zhong xia dang ji ga. Okay, the answer is I'm pleased to meet you. I'm pleased to meet you. Okay, next one. I am as well. Thank you. How would you say that? And Mong. I am pleased as well. Thank you. Okay, if you said Gu la i ya Wa chao Gu la i ya Wa chao Then you are correct Okay, the new vocabulary is very quickly Number one Nyo Nyo is live to live Zhong Well, good Ka You Yours Li jia How La is a particle indicating completion of action. Gu, I, me. Ne, question particle. Tia, and as well. Shia is the liver. Translate into a heart. Ten, Tao, have, to have. Eleven, G, me, to me. 
12 law m 13 e yeah the same 14 or chow thank you we'll ask question who who and mong is ling tu ling tu these will be the five questions that we will ask using who let's quickly review them as we will learn word by word later on in the next few lessons uh, number one nu ya leng tu who is he she remember we learned lesson three nu nu it can be he or she okay number two ga ya leng tu who are you number three leng tu or na who did this number four leng tu ya tu hai who said it number five da ya leng tu li who is that belong to okay question what okay what in Hmong is da chi da chi okay number one we will be learning these five too so that we will be learning ten phrases but there will be it's very easy as you can see there's only a couple only four or five words in each uh, phrase okay in each question number one no ya dachi what is this number two number three ko hai dachi what did you say Number four, lai o dachi, what are they doing? Number five, nu mo dachi, what does he or she has? Now let's learn these ten sentences word for word. Who is he or she? In Hmong, nu, nu, okay, nu is he or she. Nu ya. Nu ya, he or she is. Okay. Nu ya ling, nu ya ling, nu ya ling tu, nu ya ling tu. He or she is who? Okay, it's reverse, but nu ya ling tu is who is he or she? Nu ya ling tu who? Is he or she? who are you? Ka. Okay. Ka ya. Ka ya ling. Ka ya ling tu. Ka ya ling tu. Ka ya ling tu. Who are you? You meet someone for the first time, you ask, who are you? Okay, you can ask them that. Ga ya ling tu. Who did this? In Hmong. Ling. Ling tu. Okay. Ling tu. Ling tu oa. Ling tu or no Ling tu or no Ling tu or no Okay, who did this? Ling tu is who Did is or Okay, this is no Ling tu or no Who did this? Who said it? Okay, and Mong Ling, remember who is Ling tu Okay Ling tu, okay. Ling tu ya. Ling tu ya. Ling tu ya tu. Ling tu ya tu hai. The literal meaning is, uh, translation is actually, who is the one that said it? But, short enough is, who said it? Ling tu ya tu hai. Ling tu ya tu hai. Who said it? Who is that belong to? In Hmong. Da. 
ดาวยอดาวยอดเล่งเล่งตื่นโอเคดาวยอดเล่งตื่นดาวยอดเล่งตื่นดาวยอดเล่งตื่นลีดาวยอดเล่งตื่นลีดาวยอดเล่งตื
link to or no you say who said it how would you say that in Hmong who said it okay, if you said link to ya to high link to ya to high you are correct now how would you ask who is that belong to the answer da ya ling to li da ya ling to li okay more practice now let's practice with the how would you say that okay if you say no ya da chi you are correct. No, ya, dachi. Okay, the next question is what is that? Just change one word, okay? One word to change. Switch the no to da, and you got it correct. Da, ya, dachi. Da, ya, dachi. Okay, next questions. What did you said? What did you said? Okay, if you say ka hai dachi, ka hai dachi. In Hmong, you would say lao or dachi, lao or dachi. Okay, the last question. What does he or she has? How would you say that in Hmong? The answer. Nu mua da chi. Nu mua da chi. Here are the new vocabularies. Remember there's 10 questions that we learned, but there's only 9 new vocabularies that we have in this lesson, okay? So these questions are not actually hard. It's very simple questions. Number one, link to who or whom. Number two, or to do. Number three, no, is this. Do is as a classifier for people. Uh, five is high, speak or to speak. Now, da and da, okay. What the D, that actually means that same meaning, but then with the d at the end. You have da da. You emphasize it more. Uh, compared to, uh, with the V is da. Okay, you just say da. Okay, the difference da with the D, da with the V. They both mean that. Number seven, ling tu li. Who is it? Ling tu li. Okay. Number eight, da chi. What? Number nine, more have or to have. So first of all, the word in the top left there is Vilita. Vilita is one way to say why. It really, it, if you break it down, the word V means because of, uh, and Lita is how, as we'll go over. So, or it's kind of has a broad meaning, but in the sense it's saying like for what reason, really is the answer. In fact, maybe I should just put that up there. For what reason? Okay, so <clears throat> the answer there, virita ko virita ho molino, virita ho molino. It's kind of like saying, why does it have to be like this? The word have there means have in the sense of to be, like we have a party. Um, it doesn't mean you're holding it in your hand, etc. But, anyways, you would answer with vitia because of, for the reason that. So, virita ho molino, vitia. I don't know the answer to that question. Sorry. Anyways, that's how you use that. The word virita. The next one in there, similar. Olita, olita. Also, why? For what reason? So, this one is kind of used differently in in written text and speech. So, first of all, we have the example olita nuchi kakutoa. Why isn't he willing for me to come over? 
why isn't he willing for me to come over? Um, so sometimes it'll be said in a shorter form, "wata, wata nuchi no." Sometimes if something re just ridiculous happens, people will yell out, "wata," like, "why, why, well, why is it gotta be like that? What's going on?" Um, and then mostly just in speech, you'll see the third example, "da." Why are you so beautiful? So when you come across those questions, there's two ways to answer. Now, vidya, we already talked about vidya for the reason that another way of saying a similar thought is ha. So what danuchi no? Why doesn't he eat? Doha nuchi chai pla because he's not hungry. So that's how you use ori da, or da, or da. The next one is the word for how, which is li da, li da. So for example, ga yu te li da, how will you answer? You would answer go yu te dia. And in this case, and in many of the other cases, you'll see you essentially put the answer in the place of the question word. So you'd say the same phrase, ga yu te li da. Of course, you change it to yourself, right? Because you're asking the question, they're asking the question to you, and then you change ga you to me, go, go, you are dia. And that spot where li ta goes is where you're going to have your answer, whatever you're going to answer. So you'll find that with the next few that we're going to use. So, for example, uh, the next one on the list there is the word which, T W G, du, du. This word is used. Um, in an interesting way, it is used to form many different question words. And you can use, as you'll see some of these examples here, you can use um, certain words, you can use noun classifiers if the context calls for it. So we'll go over some of these. So the word tao means when, in the sense of like when I was over at his house, the time when. But when you say tao du, it becomes which time or when as a question. Like tao du koma tua, when you're coming over. Um, Leng is a noun classifier for people. So if you wanted to say who, you would say leng du, leng du, like that. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. The word no, H N U B, no. It's the word for day. So if you say no tu, what day? Which day? You can use pretty much any noun classifier and the word tu. So like a da is a classifier for tools. And if you're in a tool shed and someone's saying, oh, give me that tool, you could say da tu, what tool? Um, there's a long list of ways you can use tu. Um, in fact, sometimes you can use it without any con without any anything before it like if someone asked you uh just like someone says get the tool out of the tool shed you could just be like, Dude. like which one but more complete sentence would be the classifier noun classifier and then the Dude word after that we have the word dachi dachi which means what kono dachi what are you eating the answer is kuno and then the answer whatever you're eating goes in the place of dachi Kuna, jomo, I'm eating food. <clears throat> okay, scroll down a little bit. Beicho, beicho, how many? How many? So, for example, como beicho shong? How many years do you have? Or really, it's saying how old are you? You would put the answer in this place of beicho, como beicho shong? I have 30 years, I'm 30 years old. Outside of that, How many children do you have? So, I have no children. Ha, <laughs> free. After that, the question word, this one has multiple meanings. Uh, like what? Or it can mean looks like what, because zhongli can be to look like or to be similar to. So, what does your girlfriend look like or what is your girlfriend like? Same thing as the ones above, 
and then the answer goes in the place of Jonita. My girlfriend's really tall. I don't know why I picked that. I, just some way you can answer. Okay, so the next one, these are all kind of um, open-ended questions, but in pretty much any language, there's also what's called a yes or no question. Yes or no question. Um, and to ask a yes or no question, it's a bit complicated in Hmong. It's not too hard, but it is a little bit difficult. So essentially what it comes down to is the word P-U-A-S, boa, boa, boa can be ruined or destroyed, but most of the time it's used for this question word. It's, it has no, it's hard to put a meaning on it in itself. Uh, you can almost look at it as like a question mark, but what it comes down to is you place boa before the verb you would like to know about, that you're asking about. So an easy example is if you were to say, you come, Gotoa. But if you want to know, are you coming? Will you come? Gotoa toa, because the verb toa, the action toa, is to come, and that's what you want to know about. Now, just to give a slightly more complicated example, but for the sake of understanding the concept, um, you could say konya no gaimpoa. You like to eat pork. Now that sentence has two verbs, two actions. It has eat. Uh, and it has like. Now, which one do you want to know about? You don't really want to know if they're eating. You want to know if they like to eat, right? So, bo is going to go before that verb. Nya, like. Nya, like. Um, so, that's how you ask the question. You put bo before the verb that you want to know about. You kind of have to think about that, but eventually it becomes natural. And the answer is interesting because in Hmong they don't really have yes or no. They don't use the grammar of the language is not set up that way. So you wouldn't answer by saying, oh yes, I like it, yes, or no, you wouldn't do that. You answer by saying, if, you, if it's a positive answer, like yes, I like it, you would say the verb itself. You literally just say, like. Do you like to eat pork? Like. Or in this case, I like it. Or if you don't, you put the negative word chi before the verb. Chinya. Chinya. I don't like it. So that's the construct of how you use a yes, set up a yes or no question. Now, it just occurred to me that I'm missing something really important here because another type of question um, is a either or question which is really important to know and to do that sorry no yaw. to do that you use this uh, phrase law or law ya and that's used to give two options okay so we're gonna set up a, an example here Okay, so what just happened there? In a either or statement, or I'm sorry, an either or question, you make a statement, something along the lines of, you like to eat pork. Or la ya chicken. Gai gai is chicken meat, essentially. Gai means meat, gai means chicken. So to ask either a question you say a statement essentially. You like to eat pork, gai boa. Or la ya, or you could say la gai gai. Now when you make it like that but you put or in the middle, you're asking a question with those two options. So to answer that you would just say, you would pick one. Um, so there's your answer. Or you could say it longer like, Okay? Sorry, I missed that. It's kind of important. I tried to go through all these beforehand, but 
in any case so just as a recap to give to ask a question between two different options you would say you like to eat pork and then you use that phrase there law or law ya option two and that becomes a question in itself okay so those that's the overview of the questions and I wanted to go over some funny rules in Hmong um, first of all dachi we went over it means what right unless it means why okay so why are you studying or sometimes they'll say they'll add that classifier in there so in this case you would say in English it means more like why and then we have a second example there li jia means how unless it means what ko sa li jia what do you think ko hu li jia what's your name what are you called i put these two examples up to illustrate a point because it really they're not strange rules they actually make sense um, they're not even exceptions really uh, just as an example the first time i heard somebody an australian friend ask me the question how you going I thought to myself, uh, I don't know, like, with a car? It didn't make sense they were saying, how are you doing? How do you feel? Because I hadn't heard that phrase before and they word it, it's worded differently, even though it's the same language, English. And then I thought to myself, how are you doing? What, is, what does that question mean? How are you doing? Doing what? Like building a house with a hammer? I, it doesn't make sense either. It's just the way you say it. You wouldn't go up to somebody and be like, hmm, what is your current emotional state? Yeah, that technically is correct, but it doesn't make sense. So in the same way, um, dachi means what? And in those examples, it means what? You study to become what? You study to become do dachi, like what profession or what purpose? Um, the same one below, li jia, how? We may think in terms of what are you called? But in reality, what they're asking is, how are you called? How is, how are, yeah, how are you called? Or how do you think about this? How do you think? And it just makes sense that way. So you kind of have to rewire your brain when you think about these and just kind of really with, by means of creative thinking, meditate and kind of ponder over what the, how these words go together, what they mean. And it'll really help you grasp not just well, this is the English and now this is the Hmong and I'll just say this, but really grasp the concept and then you can use it more freely when you fully understand it in that way. Nya Zhong, this is my coup from Hmong Baby. Today I will be reading Oshi Oshi or Play Play in White Hmong and I will be translating it into English. So read along with me. Oshi Oshi Play Play Oshi Oshi Play Play Thu Sa Oshi Two wants to play Ling Thu Yo Oshi Do Thu Who will play with two? Thu Nu Malia Haitia Go Busa Oshi Two asked Fox, Do you want to play? Malia Te Gusa Oshi Fox replied, I want to play. Malia Nupla Haitia Ka pasa oshi Fox asked Owl Do you want to play? Pla te Gu sa oshi Owl replied I want to play Pla nu vauki haitia Ka pasa oshi Owl asked Turtle, Do you want to play? Valki te Gusa washi. 
turtle replied, "I want to play." Vauki nu jatsai haitia. Go basa washi. Turtle asked, "Tiger, do you want to play?" Jatsai te. Gusa washi. Tiger replied, "I want to play." Jatsai nu ao haitia. Go basa washi. Tiger asked, "Dog." Do you want to play? Ao te, gusa washi. Dog replied, "I want to play." Mondao tu pongyu sa washi no tu. There are many friends who want to play with two. Tu jong xia heng ne hai be o xi o ge. Tu is so happy. He says, "Let's play together." The end. To get your own copy of o xi o xi or play play, go to mongbaby dot com. Fai, how would you say that in Hmong? G, okay, G. Eleven. Gao e. How would you say twenty-two in Hmong? Neng gao o. How about twenty-nine? Neng gao duo. Okay, how about forty-four? Blau jiao blau. About fifty-seven. Qi jiao xia. About sixty-eight. Zhao jiao yi. Okay, seventy-seven. Xia jiao xia. About ninety-two. Duo jiao o. Okay, one hundred. Yi bo. Okay, one hundred and ninety-two. 